okay, I do the call out and uh, some people are like, why is he calling out Elon Musk, you know? And man, Saturday night I called out, uh, I called Elon out. Sunday morning, I started getting all these text messages uh, and, and emails. And I thought at first it was, uh, it was spam. They were trying to, they were trying to con me. And then it turned out to be the real thing, like, and they wouldn't stop. So we finally got back to them and they're like, yeah, yeah, come in. We'll take care of everything. And I, I wasn't sure what that even meant. So we show up to the, to the office and they said, okay, so your car's coming, but until then we're going to give you a car. So, you know, you can be comfortable. I was like, oh my gosh, let's go. <laughs> so currently I got a, um, they gave me a Y, but they're going to, they're going to replace it with an X soon. And, and I'm, uh, I'm going to basically have an older model X until my, uh, my model comes in, my car comes in my order. But that's pretty cool that you take to the microphone there and lo and behold, now you have the car. What do you think so far? I mean, I haven't driven it much. My wife drove it. Um, it, it takes a little getting used to, but man, the car is so nice. It's so quiet. It's, uh, the way everything works. It's so convenient. It literally feels like a smartphone. I feel like I'm driving a smartphone and kind of better than my smartphone. I, uh, no, uh, no disrespect to Apple, but like a little, a little bit more convenient. We heard what you said to Elon Musk the other night. What's your message to, to Mr. Musk now? Um, I appreciate you. Uh, you know, you didn't have to do this. And um, little things like this mean so much to me because, it, you know, this protects my family and, and my family means the world to me. So thank you, Elon. You're sitting there at number three. I know you're going to take time off because of the baby on the way. But when you look at this division, you're probably licking your lips at the opportunities and how close you are to that goal. Now that I think about it, think about it. Charles, we were supposed to fight. You know, the man kind of owes me a fight. I signed up to fight him on short notice and um, he, he kind of bailed on me. Now, now he's the champ and I'm number three. Hey, bud, I have the highest streak in the top three, in the top four and whatever. I think, you, you know, you owe me a shot again, like, or you owe me a shot, the shot that you didn't give me the first time. So I, I think right now I should be the, I should be number one contender. And uh, I understand that uh, Dustin Poirier and Justin Ga uh, and, uh, and, and Connor are, are a big fight and they're the money fight and it makes sense for them to get the title. But you got to remember those guys aren't easy to work with when it comes to contracts. So I think before all that gets figured out, uh, you know, I think in, in December, uh, Charles and I can, can have a go at it. I think it would be a very exciting fight, but stylistically, I think I'm a bad matchup for him. And if you look at our division, I think I'm the worst matchup for him because I can stop his takedowns. I could take him down. I can avoid his submissions. I could submit him. I have, in terms of tools, I have all the tools that he has and more and I think my tools are better.